Welcome to Colorful Colorado, guys. Just made it. Drove all day today, and it's about six o'clock right now, so perfect time to drive around and try and spot some elk. The tag I got in my pocket is a first rifle tag. Me and Hayden both have tags, and this season's only five days long. It starts October 16th and goes to October 20th. So it's a short time frame. That's why I drove out today. It's Wednesday right now. Season opens on Saturday. So I got tonight and then I got two full days after that to scout before season opens up. Hayden should be out here tomorrow morning and he's gonna help me scout for the next two days as well. We'll see if we can find some bulls to go after on opening day. I was out here in September with my dad and a couple buddies from back home and we got into quite a few elk during that trip. So that's the area I'm gonna start at. I'm gonna drive there tonight, camp in my car, and then drive around in the morning probably for a little bit and possibly hike back in there and see if I can find some elk. I'm hoping that not too many people have been back in there and pushed the elk out of there, but it's Colorado, so there's a good chance there has been quite a few people in there. We were in there a little over a month ago, so it's been a while, but there's still a chance that elk might be hanging around in there. This is gonna be my first elk hunt with a tag. I've been elk hunting the past three years now. First year I went with Zach and Born and Race crew in Colorado. Last year I went with Warb on his Wyoming hunt. Then this year I went with my dad and a couple buddies and now I'm back for my own hunt. So I'm super pumped and get out here, get in the mountains, see if we can find some elk. How's it feel to be in the mountains? It feels pretty great. It's a lot colder here than Wisconsin. It. it is just a little bit. It was like 20 degrees this morning when we woke up. So it's starting to warm up now though. But it feels good. Ready to get after some bulls. So this is your first first elk hunt? First elk hunt. First for you too, without with a rifle in your hand, right? Yep. Or any sort of weapon. Yep. I'm looking forward to it. Backpack hunt. Hopefully we can get in some elk. We're out driving around right now, checking out a couple areas and trying to get a lay of the land. Zach's gonna be meeting us likely tomorrow. Uh, and then Grant, and then another one of Zach's friends is coming in, so. Yeah, it's a new experience for a lot of us. Zach's got the most experience out of, out of us for elk hunting, but Ted and I are looking to learn a little bit today, see if we can find some elk and get a beat on them for opening day. It's gonna see, be a good one. It will, see what we can turn up. I'd shoot him if I had a mule deer tag, wouldn't you, Ted? Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. There's some pronghorn running around down this valley too. Seems like we found the wildlife. I think they're rutting, because they're just running back and forth. Yeah, I think October is the, the rut. People say it's pretty crazy. I was thinking about stopping back in South Dakota on the way home. You should, if I, I don't mean. have a cooler full of elk. here with his dad earlier on the walk in so not really that surprising that there's elk in here but it's good to know they're still in this area I think that was the main goal coming in here is just to right. confirm that the elk Ted and his dad saw earlier were still hanging out in this area so it seems like they are at least one seems of them like is. we might not have near as much walking <laughs> well we didn't know if we'd hear any bugles this time of year but yeah first morning in That's first funny. morning in the woods and we heard one it's pretty awesome I Probably found warmer it. too. There's a really fresh bull bed in September, right at the top of that. It's all dark timber face right here. <laughs> that might have been a different one. Yeah, that was farther off for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? That's crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's my first bugle I've ever heard, Ted. It's good. It's awesome. We have many more to come. Mm -hmm. All right, it's seven o'clock. Hayden and I hiked up here. We were gonna walk a long ways back here this morning and just see if we could find elk sign. But we popped over this first hill 
And as we were walking down, we were starting to drop down. We heard an elk bugle right over here behind me. We heard one over there, one up a little higher, and Hayden thought he heard one up and over that next hill back that way. So possibly three different bulls that we heard sound off this morning, which is ideal. I mean, we didn't even expect to hear elk bugle. We just were expecting to walk in here and try and find fresh tracks or fresh droppings, whatever we could come up with. But they did it for us. They saved us a lot of walking, that's for mm -hmm. sure. All right, it's opening day, and we got five of us here. We got Kyle, Grant, myself, Hayden, and Zach. We're about to hike up this little hill here, not too far from camp. It's, there's like 30 minutes till uh, legal shooting light, so Hayden and I went up here yesterday morning and heard two or three bulls bugling back up in here. So that's the plan. We're gonna hike up there, see if we can hear them bugling again, and then go from there. This is where we're gonna start, and then who knows where we'll end up. We got tons of ground we can hunt with these tags, so we might end up a long ways from here by the end of it. It's gonna be fun, we got rifles, so. We're gonna be ripping at them at some point. Sure are. I hope. We can squeeze them off. First elk hunt. First elk hunt. Yeah. Both of you? Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yesterday was the first bugle I had heard in person. <laughs> Sick. That was pretty awesome. We got, we got pretty fired up. Well, let's get one. Let's, let's do, do it. it. We got to the same point that Ted and I got to yesterday and heard that bull bugle down in this valley. We were standing here for about 10 minutes and heard one go off right over that rise. We're going to work down this fence line, see if we can get some higher elevation, and get better ears on him, figure out where he is. That's awesome, man. This sun is just absolutely blasting off, dude. We've heard him, we've heard him a couple times on the walk. We're not sure if he's on public or private, but if we get up here, we should be able to hear and see a lot. That's where we're headed. That's all. Tags. Yeah. yeah. That bull, I don't know where he went. He was right here most of the morning. Yeah. We were up up, up high. I'm pretty sure he I'm sure he headed out. Dark timber by now. Kind of aggravating. Oh well. You guys gonna spike someplace? If we need to. We'll see. Hopefully yeah. we don't need to, but try something. Might just kill him with no calls. Just 
So we're assuming he's dead. <laughs> Ripped a few calls and no response. So we're going to start working back this way and take a little breather and then continue on, try and find some more. It's not over. No. It's definitely not over yet. It's definitely not over. We've still got more days of Dude, season. Dude, it's not over. <laughs> Don't worry about it, bro. It's not over. <laughs> hey, with Z on that call, I won't know the difference. <laughs> gonna do it for the first day. We ended up coming up here to a high point where we could see a long ways around and listen for the last little bit of light. And uh, we saw probably five hunters all spread out through this whole thing. So we're deep enough in here and saw some fresh elk sign on the way up. We'll camp here for tonight, depending on how things go in the morning. Maybe we'll stay in here, or hike out of here and go to a new area. But pretty good start to the trip with that elk bugling right off the bat this morning. Other than that though, We've run into a lot of hunters. A lot of the hunters have had success though. So, oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Except it hasn't been us yet. <laughs> a lot of shooting around us. A lot of shooting. And all the bulls we were hunting are now dead. <laughs> we confirmed that too. Right. Confirmed. Our buddy Zach confirmed that. <laughs> and confirmed. Based off, based off the lack of response to my calling. We'll see you in the morning. All right, bro, first leg in the hunt, what do you think? It's over, man. <laughs> Cold meat. You gonna, get, you gonna get your nutrition out of that one. I would think. Aiden, how you feeling after the first leg? Good, ready to dry some clothes out and get in another spot, but there's definitely elk around. Get some food and get after it again. Grant says it's over. Does he? <laughs> really, Grant, <laughs> really. Kyle's done at least. <laughs> Maybe we can finally get on one now. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, we've been driving pretty much all afternoon, trying to find a place to go in, and been seeing a lot of animals, saw some elk, saw some, a lot of deer, and found also a lot of hunters, which is what we expected, but we're kind of letting the pressure intimidate us a little bit from going into this one spot, so we're gonna go try a much smaller area, check it out, see if there's anybody there. We may just hop in there first thing in the morning, try to class it up, see if we can see any elk moving around. And if we don't see elk moving, then we just probably are gonna jump back in and try something different. I mean, the thing about this hunt is, is you know, people are kind of accessing big chunks of land from the same area. You know, it's one of those deals where you can definitely go into those places and have success, or you can find some oddball spot and have success there on a smaller piece of land as well. But we're gonna try some of these smaller areas, see if we can bump into some elk and just learning out here. We really are, are definitely proving to be novice rifle elk hunters. We've had some success archery elk hunting as a group, but we've never rifle hunted. Uh, Jake did a long time ago, but this is our first rifle hunt, so we're learning. Hopefully you guys learn from at least our mistakes. <laughs> Ooh, how I'm red in my eyes. What's your, what's your confidence level currently? Uh, I don't know, 50%. I feel better when we find elk. If we find elk, we'll be in good shape. You think they're in there? I'm not sure. This is completely different terrain, so we'll find out. We'll get to a high knob and we'll be able to see a lot, so if there are, we'll be able to find them. Hopefully. All right, morning guys. I'm running a little bit late because I'm making some coffee. The rest of the guys started up that hill. We just drove around last night a bunch trying to find a spot to go where there wasn't just a ton of people. We found this spot, nobody was here. Pretty big chunk, nothing crazy. Something we can day hunt, so we're just packing in for the day. We're gonna go up here, get on this high point, start glassing. Hopefully we hear something or see something. Just go from there. Feeling excited, day three. I'm gonna try to drink this coffee real fast and catch up with them. I don't think they're gonna be making any crazy moves, but hopefully Gramps filming something so you guys can see what they're doing. There's some milk tracks going up here. So that's a good sign. I'm already caught up with those guys. It didn't seem like they took the best route. I'm in this little pocket where there's some aspen in here. There's just rubs everywhere. There's fresh droppings in here. And we're just barely up and out of sight of the road. So that's telling me back in there is probably gonna be even better. It just depends on how many guys have been in here. There's been a few boot tracks I've seen, but it's hard to say. If it was just like, you know, a guy or two on opening day, there's a chance that surrounding pressure, because there is a lot of that, has pushed elk up in here too, so if I'm feeling confident. There's three dudes also crashing through the oak brush up there, which ain't doing much for this little bowl, but once we get back in there, I think we're in good shape. Both shot. The one guy shot and then I was watching him and he just handed the gun to the other guy and he shot. It might be elk right below us. The elk I see are way over there for that little white thing on top of that knob. All right, so it's middle of the morning here, probably late in the morning now, and uh, so far we've definitely seen elk, but we've definitely seen hunters. Been some shooting going on down in here, which is kind of what we expected. We didn't see anybody walking in, but clearly there's people coming in from all over the place. There's a guy down there tracking with a dog right now, and they're moving through some timber, so we're gonna be on our toes here watching. That's kind of the, the idea with being here still is, you know, we figured guys that shot and guys that are leaving for lunch are gonna be moving stuff around just like we would do during a deer gun season. It's like people start moving around, maybe elk will start moving around too. That's you're gonna be your shot. Okay. 
because if they start squirting out of there, they're going to run up to here. And this is all open. I, when I saw them, I was standing right here. <laughs> you guys were just going up that. So I could see you, and I could see the elk. <laughs> it's an awesome clip. What we'll do is we'll just kind of sneak up and around, and then we'll just try to get up to here. I think if we can make it to here, it might be worth setting up right there. Yeah, there. if it looks good and we get in clean, yeah, I think we can get one or two. We're gonna end up, I mean, we're probably going to end up in here the rest of that debt, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I think so. It's either it's either we stay here today or we, we go, go for that there. other yeah. bowl. I mean, it's 107. Yeah. So, I don't, so, okay, so we if we go over there, nothing happens, whatever. Do you think we should stay there and glass that for a while, probably? You could, or you could. back over here, maybe. Either come back over here or go back over towards us. I would say go back, like if we both sit on that saddle and then each group looks over either side directions. of the ridge. Grant and I just circled around to a little spot where we can see down through some of these aspens. A bunch of trails coming out of this stuff. And Zach and Hayden circled around the other side. They were going to get to a little high point so they could glass. So we came over here to this little spot so if they bump anything out of this stuff, hopefully we can shoot it on their way out. But there's tons of elk sign in here. There's one big rub down there and a bunch of trails coming out of this stuff. So there's definitely quite a few elk around. Just like hook the edge of that dark timber. Try to stay on the hot side of it and get over there. I think that'll keep our wind out of there for the most part. right now and Grant and I have been sitting here for probably an hour and a half or so maybe two hours we've just been glassing this face trying to spot an elk we have seen a few so far but they've been way over on the private so nothing on the public yet but there's a bunch of sign in this sage that we are sitting in right now lots of elk turds and trails through here so maybe something will end up in our lap tonight got probably an hour and 45 minutes of daylight left We'll probably just keep glassing this stuff, try and get eyes on something for tonight or for a lead for the morning. We might also hike to the top of this thing and get in these aspens where we found a bunch of sign for the last part of the night here, but not sure. It's been pretty slow middle part of the day here. It's getting to be the time where they might start popping out again. There's a few hunters around on some of these ridges coming in off private, looking into some of these ridges as well. Zach and Hayden are probably half a mile away doing the same thing, so maybe between the two groups we'll get eyes on something.
of the bulls that we saw close were on public, so that's good. We saw some way off in the distance. We saw some cows way off in the distance, but pretty sure we saw four public land bulls. So we got to play for tomorrow. We're going to go back see what Ted and Grant saw and then try to make a game plan for tomorrow. We're in them. I think we found some. It's good. I feel good about the spot. Hopefully we can get in here and get close to them tomorrow. It's good that we got some intel. It's benefit about this area versus where we were so we can see. So now we know where some bulls are. Hopefully we can get a game plan together and get a shot off at one. Yeah, or two, boy. Or two. That'd if be we'd have been up there tonight, we'd have doubled. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of elk in the area. I think they're just kind of, there's a lot of pressure in here still, but most of the pressure's been up on the opposite side where they're ducked in this little hole way in the back corner of this place. So hopefully we found a little pocket of them. We can send some lead down range out. <laughs> Kill. Well, you heard the shooting. <laughs> you guys? No. See anything? No. None? Mm -mm. Do you guys see something? Oh, yeah. Bull? Oh, yeah, like say a seven. Really? <laughs> if we, we would have been there tonight, we would have got him. Cool. Because we didn't see anything. We saw, I mean, we sat back where we started this morning, glass there for a while, and then popped back over into the Aspens. Called for a while, and but nothing yeah. popped in there. Yeah, I feel like maybe. We got ran out this morning from those other guys and probably us some and then yeah there was more hunters closer tonight really yeah yeah they're in there boy <laughs> that's <laughs> we got a really good chance i think like good deal if we get up there to where we were tonight in the morning and then if we watch them go up in there or even if we don't like you just get on that same spot where they came out and just wait till they come out just wait them out <laughs> I and mean, there's a bunch of elk over there i think in that specific spot there was six or seven elk and then off in the distance we just catch him but like watched a bull chase four cows way out there and then watched a bull look like he escaped some hunters coming in cool yeah that's in. awesome saw an elk right there where we last saw that big bull this morning what were they coming out of aspen dark timber mix they came right out of that and just dumped over and just kind of went across the public land sweet yeah. all of them went past the same place too even yeah. those cows we saw early they kind yeah. of ended up on that one little sliver that worked over that ridge mm -hmm. so i think we can get pretty close to that so we're gonna double tomorrow then that's what i'm th <laughs> actually what i'm thinking <laughs> i'm thinking that's what we should do <laughs> double and then we got all the whole next day to pack them out yeah we'll need it <laughs> probably do the same thing we did this morning just stay in our vehicles and then hike up there bright and early and try and get eyes on them maybe get a couple rifle rounds in them <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get some lead slung at him. All right, we'll see y'all in the morning.